to tell you about a little place called Carlton. Located in the heart of Melbourne, Australia, Carlton has been home to generations of refugees and migrants who have come to make Australia their new home. Located on Carlton's doorstep are two major universities, and every year tens of thousands of students come from all over the world to study in Melbourne. In more recent years, a lot of young professionals have come to Carlton because it's close to the city and they brought their young families with them. Because of all this, Carlton has incredible diversity. People of every faith, culture, ethnicity, speaking many languages, of many different sexual orientations and gender identities, people with different financial abilities, and people with different health and physical conditions all come to Carlton and live in this community together. The start of 2011 was a big year for me. I turned 18. I went to university. In Australia, rovers are scouts between the ages of 18 and 25. I'd been a scout since the age of nine, so becoming a rover scout was the next logical step. But to be a rover scout, I needed a rover crew. The rover crews near me didn't quite suit what I was looking for in scouting. They didn't have the activities that I was looking for. But then an incredible idea, opportunity, became available to me. You see, I was studying at one of those two universities near Carlton, and my association was wanting to reopen a scout group that had closed 15 years earlier in the middle of Carlton. They had a leader in charge, they had a meeting place, but there was a key thing missing. There were no youth members. I found out about this, I found the contact details of the leader in charge and I sent him an email and I told him, I want to start a rover crew. We got together a few weeks later, I brought some friends of mine, he brought some other young people, and instantly we started a rover crew. Thanks to those universities being so close by, it took only weeks before we started getting new members. And within little more than a year, we had members of our rover crew from all over the world. We covered every single continent. Admittedly, our Antarctic representative was actually a stuffed penguin that I found in the zoo toy shop. But this gave us such diversity in our membership. But for me, the important thing about rovering was our motto of service. I wanted to give back the things that I had received as a scout growing up. I wanted to be a leader. I got together with some of my other rover friends. We went and did our leader training. We came back. We did all the things we needed to do to start a scout troop and a cub pack to offer programs for seven to 14-year-olds. We got ready for our first night. We were so excited. We all knew how awesome scouting was, so we thought we'd have hordes of young people coming to join us immediately. So we were a bit disappointed when only three turned up. It took a little bit longer to build the scout troop and the cub pack than it took to build the rover crew. Three years, in fact, and I got close to shutting it down on more than one occasion and starting again. But suddenly, one day, something strange happened, and we had a whole lot of new members all join at once. I suddenly had a scout troop of 25 young people wanting to do all these exciting activities I could offer. These young people were also incredibly representative of the Carlton community, and I firmly believe that scouting needs to reflect the community that it operates in. But this diversity also brought with it a number of new challenges that I hadn't encountered before. When we went swimming, I actually had youth members that had never swum before. Almost everybody in Australia, when they're growing up, learns how to swim. When we went bike riding, I had to source bikes for the young people that didn't have access to a bike and needed assistance learning how to ride it. And then we decided to go on a hike, a major event where I'm from, with a thousand other scouts. It just so happened that it fell in the middle of Ramadan, and we had several scouts who were Muslim. They said they were going on the hike, and they also told me they were going to fast. That was a new challenge that I had to work through. The thing about my scout troop is my scouts come and speak to me every week and tell me how excited they are to be there. They feel welcomed and they know that with all their differences, they're still part of this scouting family. Some of my older scouts are now helping with my younger youth sections. They come, we've been able to open up scouting for five to 25-year-olds in our scout group. 
and my older scouts tell me that they want to be leaders themselves when they are older. But they're already running activities. Scouting is able to offer a community to them and bring these people who wouldn't necessarily meet each other any other way together as one big family. This is what scouting has to offer. Our leaders in our group come from diverse backgrounds. It's important for young people growing up, I believe, to be able to see people like them doing things that they want to do. It's much easier to want to be something if you can see that something. This is what scouting offers the young people in my community, a place to feel welcomed and a place where when everything else is going wrong in their lives, they know that they are welcomed. This is what scouting brings to my community. Thank you.